everyone. I am here today to talk about the top trending items for August. In other words, today we're going to talk about the best sellers that you picked from all the things that I shared with you in August. And there were a lot of things before we get any further. That's Rowdy in the background. He's saying hi. Um, I know a lot of you here are new. Hello. I am not a hundred percent. You're not seeing me at my best as I am filming this. I think I'm on day eight or nine of testing positive for COVID and I did not feel well for a good week. Starting to feel a lot better. I'm still testing positive. I took a test this morning because I thought for sure I'd be fine by now. My husband is negative now, so we're halfway there, but I cannot not be in front of the camera for over a week. I miss you guys. So I don't know if I'm gonna be up to doing my usual three videos per week for a little while, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. I love the idea of fake it till you make it. And sometimes when I don't feel well, I find that it helps to pretend that I do. So put on a full face of makeup, get dressed, and just start doing the normal things. I will say the lingering symptom is not just extreme lethargy, which it is, it's also mental apathy. Like it's hard for me to read a book. I think some of that's brain fog follow a TV show and I have like no, I have a whole month of content planned and I don't want to film any of it. I suddenly hate all of it. So maybe you can help me get a little more motivated. If you have some ideas for content for September, even though I have literally an entire list of things that I wrote out, please let me know. I'd love to film what you want to see. But today we, it's still about you and we're going to talk about your favorites from August. And if you're new here, what I do is I break out the overall top 10 favorites. And then I talk about each category, top five for beauty, accessories, and lifestyle. We leave out clothing because that's pretty much what the top 10 is. And if I have updates, sale prices, things like that, this is the time to let you know. All right. Number one overall was the time and true corduroy shirt jacket. I love this. Can I also say all this stuff is fall oriented and it's still in the nineties here. And that is another reason I feel like I am not motivated at all to talk about fall stuff. I don't, I mean, I've lived in Texas my entire adult life. Why this is a problem for me this year, I don't know. But the idea of putting on fall clothing, it's too hot. I just need fall colored tank tops and tees at this point. So maybe that's where my head is. Okay, let's get back to the top 10. So the corduroy jacket, it comes in two colors. I'd say it runs true to size. I have it in a size small. I picked the more bright olive green. There's also a bright rust. I say bright, these aren't muted fall colors. They're much more vibrant. They're beautiful. I'm sure it's gonna be nice to wear at some point. I don't know where fall is. It's certainly not where I live. And based on a quick glance at the weather map, Nobody's really experiencing fall right now. Let me know if you are. So I'm still loving it. Shocked that it is still in stock. And I need to say this because I see this comment pop up on my Walmart videos every single time. They'll say, well, I've been to my Walmart store and I didn't see any of this stuff there. Exactly. I rarely buy stuff clothing wise in store. The clothing stuff, I find 99% of it online. That's why I've included links down in the description box so that you can purchase these things. Most of these things cannot necessarily be found in stores. That being said, I do still want to encourage you to pop into your local Walmart because oftentimes once it's released online, it does trickle down into the stores, some of it, and you may find stuff in store that's sold out online. Number two is the time and true rib tunic. It's just a basic tunic top that's nice to wear over leggings. You can also tuck it in. It's, it's long and flowy, but it's lightweight. So you can tuck it in. It's not too much bulk. And I do have a video plan to talk about fall trends. And part of my problem and my reluctance to film that video is I'm not really into the trends that clearly. I just like to wear what I like to wear. I mean, I don't want to look out of date and frumpy, but at the same time, I like what I like. And my life revolves around just normal suburban activities. I'm pretty basic. And so that's where my fashion tastes lie. If you're more into couture and high fashion and trends, then this is not the channel for you. But if you just like everyday basic mom type stuff, this is, and um, I'm on a tangent. Wow. Um, so <laughs> we're going to get focused now. But my point is this, 
Regardless of what the trends are going for right now, a nice basic tunic top over leggings with some cute shoes is just a fall uniform. And I think that's why this particular piece was really popular last month. And I would definitely suggest stocking up on it because it is Walmart, it will sell out, and it's a really great price. All right, number three, not from Walmart. Um, it started with this guy. This is the camo neoprene bag, and this goes back to trends. So a lot of people are saying that camo is out. Well, based on buying behavior of all y'all last month, I would say not so much. And I'm still seeing camo everywhere I look. Of course, I live in Texas, so there is that. But this camo neoprene bag, it's under $30. It is the perfect crossbody, everyday, do all things bag. Um, this is not the strap that came with it. I will link the strap separately. I ordered this separately, but the, str the strap that comes with it does match this, but it is significantly thinner in width, and I do like a wider strap. It has a really nice, deep outer zip pocket, easily fits my iPhone 13, no issues there. And the inside is just an open pocket, and it fits all your things. And whether you use the strap that comes with it or you add your own, the strap is detachable, so you can wear it like a pouch as well, or you can wear it as a shoulder bag, crossbody, like a belt bag, so many things. This is what a belt bag should be like, because I have found that all the belt bags that I have are too small to actually hold anything. What is the point? I loved it so much, I ordered a second one in a more neutral color. And this is the strap that it comes with. And then there's a third option that I believe is leopard print. So all kinds of prints there for you. And it's such a great bag. And I would grab a bunch of these and just have them on hand as holiday gifts. I think it's that great of a bag. All right, number four is back to Walmart. And spoiler alert, it's pretty much the rest of the top 10. Walmart is killing it right now and more is coming. They're releasing more and more every week. I'm really excited to see what more fall stuff is coming out. But number four is the Free Assembly Polo Sweater. I got it in the solid black. I just wanted something basic. That's that word again. But it does come with more of a rugby stripe option, some really fun colors. Again, I would say it runs, if not true to size, a smidge on the larger side. I have it in a size small and it's blousey on me. And I do have, it's like a 34 double D basically, 32 triple D. There's a lot going on in here and there's still room. So uh, if you want it more fitted, definitely size down one, but I decided to go with my true size. Uh, number five, this is actually sitting on my dining room table because I want to exchange it for one size up. It's the free assembly wide V-neck. It's again, very preppy. That is a trend that is big this year and I'm all for it. It's classic, but it's you know a little bit of a 2020s twist. And I love the color combinations. I just went with something very basic. I mean, at least I'm consistent, right? So the cream with, I believe it's a dark green uh, stripe. The reason I'm exchanging it, I went with my true size small and I want it even more oversized. And so I'm gonna exchange it for a size medium, but I love it. And it comes in two other colors, I believe, that are quite fun. Number six is the Amazon two-piece jogger set. I've gone on and on about this in like so many videos. So I'm not gonna say much more other than I got it in a size small originally and the top was fine but the pants were like very snug wearable but snug so i sized up to a medium so the top is quite a bit more blousey there's a lot more room and the joggers they're much more loose that's how i prefer them to fit i know traditionally joggers are meant to be more fitted that is not my thing so i would say i'm kind of i'm not quite a medium but i'm like a if as small as a four six, I'm like a five. <laughs> and so if you're in that kind of in-between size, then I would say definitely size up. Plus then you can throw it in the washing machine and dryer and not worry about shrinkage, which I can assure you did not happen anyway. All right, number seven is the Time and True short sleeve maxi dress. I love this dress because it looks like it's from Anthropology in a lot of ways, but it's not, it's from Walmart. So it's a Walmart price tag and it comes in fall colors. I love a fall colored short sleeve option for those of us that live somewhere where it is not cool yet, but we want it to feel like fall. So I love this mustard yellow. I believe it comes in a couple other shades as well. And I think this is going to look even better come fall weather underneath a denim jacket and some tall boots. It's a really cute piece. Number eight, I love so much. I ended up buying another one. So I initially bought this mock neck sweater in this really pretty pink. 
It's so fun. It reminds me almost of a scuba knit material. It says that it is a shorter length sleeve. I'm escaping the words, like a, like a bracelet length. No, it is a full length sleeve. So uh, don't let that throw you, but I love the more boxy kind of like Jackie O inspired fit. I loved it so much and I know it's gonna sell out. I ordered it in this red color. I think it'll look so cute for the holidays. Um, I am an Ole Miss football fan. If we're there for a red weekend later in the season, then I have this to wear. I absolutely love it. And I love a sweater that is lightweight. Like I mentioned several times where I live, it just doesn't get super, super cold. So I like having the option of a sweater that I can actually wear without breaking out into a sweat in December. Number nine on the overall top 10 of your favorites is this Time and True Mixed Media hoodie. And I love a more grown up version of a hoodie. I love wearing it over leggings. Again, you can wear this with joggers tucked into things. I like when it says mixed media, it's just kind of like different kind of materials going on. It's all knit. Some of it's ribbed, some of it's more knit. I love the colors. I bought mine in more of a maroon shade, but it does come in that bright kind of, I think they call it avocado chili or green chili or something like that. Uh, that's the big green color at Walmart this fall and it's a really fun color. And then rounding out the top 10, I actually bought these last year, so I'm glad that they are back, are these faux suede knee high boots from Scoop and they're super comfortable and I will be wearing them a lot. Uh, this fall season, get your true size, and like all shoes that come from Walmart, they do have the memory foam insole, which is fantastic. All right, let's talk about the top five in beauty. The top two kind of go together. No, they definitely go together. And they are the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Shampoo. You can see it is well loved. And the brand new release, the Replenish and Shine Daily Conditioner. This is it, this is what I use in my hair. I do use the original Quench and Shine conditioner mask, which is much heavier and richer, but still able to be used every time you wash your hair. But the new lighter weight daily conditioner is outstanding. And obviously a lot of you feel the same way because it was very, very, very popular. Number three, I'll admit kind of surprised that this made a top list because of the price tag. The La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. I wear mine in the shade 120 Ivory and I'm wearing it today and it just makes my skin look fabulous. I just bought a brand new jar. I'll be talking about it in this month's Nordstrom Beauty video that's coming up later this month as, I'll just give you the spoiler alert, my most ordered, most repurchased luxury or just department store beauty products. This is the foundation that I have bought the most out of all the foundations that I have bought and used I love this, it's fantastic. If you are 40 and up, I would say it's worth the price tag if it's in your budget. Obviously, if it's not, there are other ones that are fantastic. I would say my second favorite is the NARS Reflecting Foundation. It's absolutely beautiful. It is more of a glowy foundation. It's also a almost a third of the price of this. So um, there are other options, but this is my go-to for just all things. Number four on the overall beauty list are these guys. I actually have more and I just ordered another one. These are the Westman Atelier Squeaky Clean Lip Balms, which is a very misleading name because these are not lip balms. These are um, they're lip glosses. I love the packaging. I think it's really cool and sleek and fun. And it's just a doe foot applicator with the most beautiful moisturizing, lip enhancing formula I have ever seen. I'm not putting it on today because I'm just using products that I'm kind of wanting to use up on my lips because I'm still testing positive for COVID so I don't want to contaminate too much. These are the best lip glosses I've ever seen for just wearing on their own. You don't need a lip liner under it. Yes, you can put it on top of a lipstick to enhance the lipstick, but these make your lips look incredible. Like it depends obviously on the color. This one popsicle is more of a bright orangey red, but my favorite is probably Choo Choo, which is what I just reordered. And it's a pale pink that just makes your lips look full and plump and glistening. And they do help with chap lips. They're amazing. And then the last for beauty favorites is this guy, brand new bottle here. It's the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Serum Foundation. I wear it in the shade 0.5 to 2. I have been told this is a dupe for the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. 
I used to wear that and love it, but it's been so many years that I can't say with certainty if it's truly a dupe. I can say that regardless of what you want to compare it to, it's a beautiful foundation that just sits so nicely on the skin. And the shade range, I think, is kind of amazing that something from 0.5 to 2 can cover all, like one bottle can cover all those shades. And I've just been really pleased with it. And the only thing that I don't love is the container, but you can't have everything. All right, let's talk accessories. So number one was the neoprene bags. These are so good. Number two were the boots, voila. Number three, I don't wanna to go too much into these because they're selling out. These buckle faux suede loafers from Walmart. This is one of those situations where if you happen to be in store, you might find this in the shoe department at Walmart. This does also come in like a cream and a black. More sizes are available on my website um, in the black. And when I say my website, I, I am convinced that depending on where you are geographically, the inventory will be different. So even though I may say it's fully stocked where you are, it might be sold out on your website or vice versa. So do go click the link and check. Um, but I love these and regardless of if they sell out, I'll be wearing them with many outfits to come. And then number four, I don't actually own, I did recommend them and apparently a lot of you love them and I do have a version of them sitting in my cart to order for myself. The um, scoop studded clogs. Clogs are a big trend for fall and um, I just think it's fun because they're easy to wear and anyway, um, they're really cute and very affordable. Something that I like about a trend because you know it's not gonna last forever so why invest the money? And then the last thing for accessories that you loved are not these. I don't know why I'm holding these up. These are new from Dean Davidson. Aren't these cool? I love them. The ones that I wanted to talk about are these guys. These are the mini Ipanema earrings and I have them in the rainbow moonstone and they're just, a, you can see the difference between the statement size of these Dean Davidson earrings and then these guys. So absolutely beautiful and they are very elegant and go with everyday casual, but can easily be dressed up as well. Let's talk lifestyle. The number one overall lifestyle pick was the iFly set of hard-sided luggage, and right under that was the Amazon Basics hard-sided luggage set. I love them both, but if I personally had to pick, I would go with Amazon. I found that I could squeeze more stuff into my Amazon suitcase than my iFly, but I think they're both great and the pricing on both is fantastic. More color options for the iFly version, and that might be a deciding factor, and it doesn't have a label on the front like the Amazon does, so it just depends on what your preferences are. Um, number three was a favorite of mine from August as well, and it's the washable rug from Walmart. It's from their Better Homes and Gardens line, and I believe there are five patterns. I love them. I forgot to address when I was talking about it, it comes with a rubber backing on it. So you don't need a carpet pad, they are non-slip, and unlike the Ruggables, they don't curl up on the sides. That is a problem with the Ruggables, so I love it, but full disclosure as always, I haven't actually washed mine yet because for reasons I don't understand, it's the one rug my dogs have not peed on yet. The rug that I bought for them just in case they pee, that's the one they're not peeing on. And then last two favorites of yours, or let's just call them the top trending items from August 2022. These mesh bags, there's more in the set, whoops, than these, but these are so good for so many organizational things. Um, the set has two options, different colors like this or all white with all black on the top. I love these. I've seen so many uses for these. I love these for travel because I can put like my travel cords, my charging cords, different products for my person here like there's just so many and there's different sizes you can um use these to store loose toys puzzle pieces they're water resistant you can put documents in here for travel they're just a nice option and i love the different sizes and they're just easy to store and i'm ordering a second set I absolutely love them. And then the last thing, I bought two of these to give as gifts. I actually got um, both of my sisters-in-law, their birthdays are in August and like a week apart. So I got them the same gift to make things easier and should have bought one for myself because it's limited edition. And it is the Nest Pumpkin Chai Candle. Now, I am not one of those people that loses their minds when pumpkin lattes come back at Starbucks. I'm not a Starbucks fan. I like the con I like pumpkin somewhat, but it's been so overdone that it's just like 
Seriously, is there no other fall scent? But um, I was recently at a boutique and I smelled this candle and Nest knows how to do it right. So it's a pumpkin chai. So it's not just straight up pumpkin. It has that chai scent. It has cardamom, ginger, cinnamon as well. It's a real sophisticated pumpkin scent. So if you like the warmth of fall scents, but the true pumpkin scent makes you just want to roll your eyes and run out of the room screaming, give this one a try. Um, it's selling out pretty quickly. I found it stocked really nicely over at Amazon. Um, I didn't find it at Nordstrom or Ulta, both who normally carry Nest. So I've linked the Amazon one below. And it does come in other options other than the one candle. Then there's like the three wick, there's the diffuser rods, um, all the things. Thank you so much for using my links to place all these orders. Your support means more than you will ever know. And yes, obviously shopping using my links does pay me a commission, which I really appreciate, but there are so many other ways that are just as important for you to show your support. Just showing up and watching a video is plenty. Leaving a comment is fantastic. Following me over on Instagram, sending me a DM there is like the cherry on top. So however you choose to spend time with me, just know it is greatly appreciated. It has been really nice checking in with you over on stories this whole week while I've kind of been laid up and I really do appreciate that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope to see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye.